Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial we explain how to install Gazebo Simulation Package in Ubuntu 24.04 and we explain how to run a simulation of a real-life robot that you can see over here. This is a realistic simulation of a real-life panda robot. Now, what you can see over here is the adjustment of the angles of rotations of the joints of this robot. You can see that we can control every joint independently. Furthermore, we can open or close the gripper. In addition to this, here on this table, you can see several objects. The robot can actually move these objects, pick and place them, and even hit them, and the objects will fall. So, for example, if I move one of these joints, I can actually swing and hit these objects, and they will move accordingly. But before we start with explanations, we need to mention the following. In this video tutorial, we explain how to install Gazebo Harmonic LTS. That is this version over here. We deliberately selected this version of Gazebo since it is compatible with ROS2 Jazzy, as you can see from this table. Now, our advice to everyone watching this video tutorial is to slowly migrate to ROS2 Jazzy, and for that purpose, you will have to install Ubuntu 24.04. Consequently, in this video tutorial, we assume that you have Ubuntu 24.04 installed on your system, and this is the starting assumption. Let's continue. To install Gazebo, first of all, go to this web page. This is very important. Then, over here, scroll down and click on Get Started. Then, you can click over here on Install or you can directly go to this web page. Let's continue. Now, over here you have several options. First option is to do binary installation and the second one is to do source installation. We will select the binary installation since it's quicker. Then, over here, click on binary installation on Ubuntu and over here we need to follow this procedure. Now, what I will do, I will resize this terminal over here or better to say my web browser then I will move it down and at the same time I will open terminal click here and select terminal or search for terminal over here and I will resize my terminal okay so let's continue whenever you want to install something in Ubuntu you need to run sudo apt-get update. However, before we even do that, let's type this lsp release dash a to make sure that we have the proper Ubuntu version. As you can see over here, I have Ubuntu 24.04. Next, let's run this to update. Enter your password. And after this command, I usually like to run sudo apt upgrade to make sure that we are, oops, I made an error, sudo apt upgrade to make sure that we are up to date. So select yes. This command is not mentioned over here. However, I like to run it. And it doesn't change anything. In fact, it improves the installation procedure by putting and keeping everything up to date. Here you need to be patient since this will take some time. Okay, the next step is to run this command. And let's continue. Then we need to follow the installation instructions and to run these four commands. First of all, let's run this command. Then let's run this. Then let's run this. Over here you can see that in my case everything is very quick. This is because I already have Gazebo installed on my system. 
However, in your case, it might take longer to execute these commands. And finally, let's install Gazebo by running this command. Now, this command in your case will take probably maybe five minutes. In my case, it's completely and immediately executed within maybe one second. However, again, in your case, it will take maybe even several minutes. So be patient. This is mainly because I already have Gazebo on my system. Good. After this, we can run the simulation. To run the Gazebo simulation graphics user interface, you simply need to type GZ and SIM. GZ is an abbreviation for Gazebo. And let's run it. And here it is. You'll see this window over here. Now, over here you have several options. In this video tutorial, we will click on Panda Joint Control World. So click here and click on, make sure that this is selected and click on Run. Okay, now wait over here and here's our simulation. Good. To activate the simulation, you need to click here to run the simulation. And now the simulation is activated and we can run the simulation. To run the simulation, that is to move the robot joints, you need to find this option, Join Position Controller, and then you can move the robot left, right, that is rotate around the base coordinate frame, which is here, or the first joint, rotation around the second joint, rotation around the third joint, rotation around the fourth joint, and you can see that we are hitting the floor. So if I hit the floor, you can see what happens. Very interesting phenomenon. So this is a very realistic simulation. Then you have this joint, then you have this joint, and you see what can happen. For example, if I rotate the robot like this, I can hit these two objects and they will fall down. Now if I move in the other direction, I'm missing this object. However, I can hit this object by just modifying this joint and let's see if I hit it, it goes down and that's it. Simple as that. In our future tutorial, we will actually explain how to create this simulation from scratch. Consequently, make sure to press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, on my YouTube channels, you can find more than 700 free video tutorials on robotics, machine learning, control engineering, signal processing and similar topics. Make sure that you check all these videos. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.